hello everybody welcome to my channel so today we are going to be transforming our paver walkway on a low budget so stay tuned and enjoy so we got all the materials that we need for this project from home depot first we got the weed stopper so the whole purpose of this weed stopper is to stop weed from growing um, in the pavers um, in the near future. We also got 24 um, pavers. We got about 10 decorative stones. Right. So our budget for this project was about $120 and we ended up spending about $116 which was really good because we did not go over our budget. Uh, this is what our walkway pavers to the shed looks like. I will be posting the before and the after video and also the before and after picture at the end of the video. All right, stay tuned. All right, so what we are currently doing is removing the old pavers So we removed all the pavers, the old pavers. So what Sam is currently doing is um, getting rid of any leftover debris after removing the old pavers. Um, we're just clearing the pathway for the new pavers. All right, that's what he's currently doing. Um, he's leveling up the ground making sure that there isn't any bumps and uh, getting it ready to put down the edges. What we are currently doing is leveling up the ground. We are making sure that there is no bumps or debris left on the pave, left on the walkway. We want to get a smooth walkway so when we lay down the pavers, it does not wobble or shake when you walk on it. So we are putting down the edging. It was a little bit longer, but we curved it up because we wanted a curvy walkway and not a straight walkway. See, the walkway is to the shed and we want it a little bit curvy. Sam is still um, making sure there is no debris or there isn't a lot of soil at one place. We wanted to make sure that the entire walkway it's leveled up. What I have in my hands right now is the weed stopper. So we lay down the weed stopper. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the purpose of the weed stopper is to stop um, weed or um, any of the grass from growing in the walkway. We did not want to see weed or um, grass from the lawn in the future. So we had this paint that came with the weed stopper. Um, we used it to pin the fabric on the ground. The whole purpose is to pin it down so it's more steady and um, it does not come out or it does not show after you lay down the pavers. All right. 
that's what it looks like it was really helpful we did not have enough so what we did was used patio umbrella pinners um, we had some leftovers um, patio umbrella pinners that we used and it was really helpful it still did the job <laughs> all right so we are still um, at it the fabric was too long so we cut it to fit the um, the walkway and that is what it looks like so we have the we stop it down the edging down our walkway is ready to lay down the pavers all right So what Sam is illustrating here is that we use this rope um, to get a curvy, um, a curvy line. We did not want a straight line. We want kind of like a curvy line because it's not going to be a straight walkway. It will be a little bit curvy. So that's what he's doing right now. We did not know what to use, but um, we later realized that, oh, we can use a rope to do it. So we got a rope and that's what the whole purpose of it was. Um, this took a while. It took a while because we, we had to make sure that um, the gaps in the middle were um, the same size as we didn't want to have a bigger size on one side and a smaller side on the other side. We wanted to make sure that the gaps were equal, so we used a measuring tape to measure it. It took a while, but we got it. So what Sam is currently doing is um, making sure that the ground is leveled because there was there was still some you know some papers that were a little bit shaky. But he used the paper to make sure that it was leveled up before placing it on the ground.
right and that is what it looks like after laying all the papers on the ground it was good yeah it took a while this took more than like 30 minutes to figure it out but we got it all right so the next step is to put the decorative stones rocks marble chips whatever you call it on the pave on the on the walkway yes and that that i think that was the easiest um thing to do in this project all right and that is the after video we have our walkway all done all right so now the trip to the shed is gonna be easy you don't have to walk you don't have to walk on the grass you don't have to walk in the mud we have a beautiful walkway to the shed and i love it all right, it came out looking really good. And yeah, this was worth it. So Sam is walking on it and it's not wobbling or shaking because we made sure the ground was leveled up. There was no debris, there was no bumps before putting, laying down the we stopper and the pavers and now the rocks okay that's me walking on the paper okay it looks good it looks good it's not shaking it looks good <laughs> that's the before and that's the after all right thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give us a like and um, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more amazing um diy see you in our next video and peace out